Maitreya. You're familiar with Maitreya, mm -hmm. of course. Of course you're familiar with Maitreya. Alright. Here. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, so Maitreya is the Buddha of the future and the classical understanding. There's, there's at least in one earlier understanding, of, but there's one Buddha who comes along every many, 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 many years and sort of figures out how to get enlightened and then gradually the, his teachings fade away, fade away, fade away, and then somebody else figures it out. And Maitreya is supposed to be the next one in line. And so this figure is, seems like it's actually sort of drawing on both Maitreya symbolism and um, sort of the, the, the fat Buddha uh, symbolism, which is actually not the historical Buddha. It's a much later Buddhist figure. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure why he's... But actually, th those, those two are sort of conflated sometimes. Uh, so yeah, actually that, that figure makes kind of sense. Apparently, according to my readings, I have not actually played this game, um, this specific one. Um, it's based off a specific Japanese statue in Koryoji, and also it's apparently supposed to c be combined with a guy who's a who was a columnist who had pro gay comments and was a cross dresser. Really? <laughs> I mean, he kind of looks a little yeah, gay. Yeah, there's I guess some, the whole definitely some is, gender bending stuff going on there. Is he that looks a little androgynous? Is the gay? I guess I guess this is the gay stuff that all fits with my. Uh, I haven't seen that really depicted with Maitreya, but there is a lot of sort of gender bending. I mean, there are previous figure we were looking at Avalokiteshvara starts out male when he goes to China and Japan he's usually depicted as female and uh, associated with compassion so you know it's it's not too unusual the, the Hindu god Shiva is sometimes depicted as half male half female because um, there however there is another form there's Mitra Buddha this is who turns into Wait, where's Mitra? No, no, Mitra Buddha, and I think, and I just looked at today, and I think I was talking about the anti-Buddha stuff. This guy is an enemy. Mm. <laughs> this guy is trying to um, do what Buddhists want and make people to be dissociated from all attachments. Apparently, the people don't want to be so disassociated from all attachments. I guess what is this? So similar, similar figure there, except sort of, you know. Uh, Tacking on some sort of Western, maybe devil uh, symbolism with the horns and the wings. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let me, let, yeah. All right. I guess from from what are your again and final thoughts regarding I guess how this Japanese game has sort of taken these Buddhist figures that well, you have some familiarity with. Yeah, I mean it's it's a good, you know, I mean I guess it kind of relates to a lot of the questions that circle around today. Uh, on appropriation. I mean, some people will look at this stuff and just say, oh my gosh, this is crazy. You know, you shouldn't be using these these images and names and things that are sacred to some people and just sort of appropriating them for video game entertainment. And uh, there might be something to that point, but I think there's also, you know, there's, there's some creative fun that can be had with it. And I, I don't really... I think there are much worse crimes of cultural appropriation than this. All right, we'll see if you see if you if your mind has changed after this. <laughs> All right, I will read I will read the dog because I don't want. Use it. All right. So I, suddenly, my tray erupts in the center of the room. My tray is staring straight at Toki. So there's a lot is happening right now. I've not played this. One. I'm just. You broke the Tokugawa mandala. Which, you know, they're, 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 they're clearly seen as an opponent. So selfish. Do you understand what you've done? You've given the city back to the demons. I thought you didn't want to be caught in this war between angels and demons. How tragic. You could fail. I will show you free and free you from this cycle of self-made misery. Salvation awaits you. He's like saying this is like as as like uh, you're gonna you should, this salvation have it. Let's <laughs> have yourself. And then there's just a little bit. There's only a little bit like, I return to this world after five billion six sixty-seven million others, only to find humanity blindly marching along. Your actions a mistake, a mystery even to yourselves. 
you've only managed to make the angels and demons, even the creator god, all stronger. Because this is a conflict between angels and Christianity and other things. I'm sure to make you, you did not intend to once more make Tokyo a haven for foreign gods and demons to run rampant. <laughs> And that's why I will release you all from the unslight the life of uncertainty and ignorance. So what is your reaction so, to that? So is the creator god the foreign? The creator god is Yahweh. Uh-huh, okay. Well, <laughs> the creator god is yeah, Yahweh. So they don't so Maitreya doesn't want the creator god around, yeah. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah so Yeah, well no, they they obviously know some stuff. <laughs> the five the, the visiting all the other worlds. Yeah, yeah. Uh interesting. <laughs> that's you fighting him yeah so I guess what's your any so do you th what sort of this idea so apparently he wants yeah he hates from what I briefly I've seen he hates attachments he wants people to like be free of attachments yeah and they're like I don't want I don't want you to I actually probably should have kept that dialogue and they basically just said like I don't want to be running in this world under you under your you giving you telling us to be free of attachments so sort of a sort of I guess this might be more of the even though the same creators may... I mean, it's different. It's, it's not like one person wrote the whole entire Shin Megami Tensei series. Mm -hmm. There's probably... But look, some might be more favorable. I think the Persona series is probably a little bit more favorable maybe to, to things than, than this. But clearly, they don't... They, the, the, you, I don't believe you get... To, Apocalypse is weird. You don't get to side with everyone. You don't get to side with the Divine Powers of Atli. But yeah, you, 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 this is sort of seen as a hostile force of trying to make people... Dis be free of attachments. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess... Japanese. <laughs> Japanese. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, you know, Japanese Buddhism on the ground, I don't think is all that concerned with attachments and being free from attachments and going to nirvana and things like that. So it's interesting, this is a more textual kind of representation of Buddhism. Yeah. I mean, if you see Japanese Buddhism on the ground, it's like people going to temples bowing to a Buddhist statue mm -hmm. and saying a prayer for the health of their grandmother or for good grades or g getting a job. It's very this worldly, you know? And so uh, the, this kind of monastic renunciatory ethic that seems to be the, you know, what you're aiming for as a goal in this game, it's a more, I think it does reflect a more kind of modernized re- uh, appropriation of this ancient monastic emphasis on non-attachment and transcending the world and so on. Mm 